to this Cummins 998 railways videos uh, vlogs uh, by monthly update video this is the third attempt at this because I keep on making little mistakes during all the um uh, recording so that's fun how is everyone going on this um Monday of um Monday the 31st of August so yeah exactly the same day as another video so um, after this, uh, there's another video right, uh, that's on the on the main channel. If you, if nobody's saw on, seen that already, that's a um, Metro Trains at uh, Chel uh, not Cheltenham, uh, Canterbury Station. So shot in 2015. So another video from the backlog has been uploaded. So that's that was um, that was the last of the stuff to upload in terms of um, connected to a break which I was having. So if anyone has checked out on the Facebook page, the um, Twitter page or the community tab on the main channel, you will notice that we had a break. We've I'm currently in the middle of a break uh, from the main channel just to work on a few other projects on a few of the other channels, as I've taken a major role in doing a lot of the editing for most of the other channels at the moment. So um, I still have a backlog of quite a number of videos to do for the other channel before I return. Uh, so that's uh, I plan to be back from the fifth of uh, Saturday the fifth. So um, that will be when I start to. Uh, check comments and all that sort of stuff again properly anyway so I'll, yeah I'll actually be up uh, actually start to reply to comments on time sort of thing anyhow I hope everyone has been well we're since last um update it has well, well we're back in lockdown again uh well stronger lockdown to last time was only stage three last time it's stage four uh that's due to end on the on the 14th of um September Monday the 14th, assuming that the cases go down, so we'll see how that goes. It all goes as a, goes a flow at the moment. Uh, really, I'm a bit busy just, uh, focusing on other things at the moment anyway, so it's kind of um, it kind of gives me a good break to go and deal with other stuff, but uh, it'll be good to be able to go back outside again, hopefully, um, uh, as soon as this is being controlled. So in terms of um, railway news, there's not really much that's been happening in Victoria, as everyone's been in um, lockdown. The heritage companies have been uh, heritage uh, uh, operate uh, heritage um, things have all been um, groups have all they still been doing like works and stuff, um, repainting uh, locomotive works and maintenance just to ensure that their maintenance is kept up and hopefully that they can return to service as soon as possible once. Um, the restrictions are lifted for them, so they are still basically doing that in Victoria. New South Wales just celebrated a few days ago on the 25th or the 26th. Um, I'll have a pop up on the screen if I got the date wrong. Uh, for the 50 years of the Western Endeavour, so that was a very, very nice little tribute to um, that operation. It was a, uh, basically the first steam train to run from Sydney, uh, Sydney Central all the way to Perth. Standing H steam locomotive, uh, locomotive 3801 and 3813. 3813 was um, detached in Port Augusta. So, yeah, that was a nice little thing. It would be great to, to if they could have done something like that again for 2000 uh, for their 50th anniversary. But we know with the current situation means that they indefinitely wouldn't wouldn't have not been able to pull that off. Um, who knows? We might be able to do it next year. Seeing that 3801 he's back in service, so uh, there's always the option to do so. In Victorian Railway news, anyways, the um, there's a plan for twenty eight million dollars to be handed over to um, build a brand new rail facility down in Dandong South, which should hopefully bring a uh, take off about twenty one hundred th uh, thousand truck loads during um, off the Monash Freeway per year. So, uh, but the federal government will be has looked to give about eighteen million into that, and our uh, our uh, state government's about nine million to uh, build this new facility out in Dandong South, which uh, which will mean freight trains will more freight trains on the Dandong line, uh, more trains going up the um, Skyrail. This new um, uh, this new investment is basically so that what it should mean is most trucks from the South Gippsland area from the Gippsland areas and all that sort of stuff will go to the depot in Danong instead of going all the way to the city to the ports basically shortening their routes instead of taking it all the way in uh, 
there are good sides and bad sides to this. The major, uh, major good thing is it will take the trucks off the road. Um, no losses in terms of workforce though, from what I can see anyways, because it should mean that truck drivers are still having their jobs. They should All they have to do is basically drop off earlier sort of thing, or in terms of coming out of areas like around the Danong precinct, just to bring it to the Danong, uh, Danong hub, and then it should hopefully mean that they can also uh, they will have more uh, be able to gain more contracts out of the new depot with more traffic coming in and out. Uh, this is as part of a bigger plan to hopefully build new depots around Australia, uh, Victoria in outer suburbs to um, so that we can have less trucks going through the city um, and because the roads are already getting busy uh, so that's where the struggling factor is is we can't really do that much um, in terms of that so. But that would be great to see um, uh, this new plan uh, to hopefully have trains, uh, more freight self on uh, on the um, Pakenham line, more jobs for the rail industry, more more jobs for the building, more jobs for trucks hopefully, more jobs for, um, all around. So that's going to be brilliant to see that initiative of our Victorian government to put in that plan uh, after so many years of talking about a port rail link. Uh, what else? Uh, so in terms of the channels, um, yeah, we basically already spoke about that at the start. Um, we are re resuming to full operation as of um this uh, this Saturday. Uh, we're str a little bit struggling a bit on terms of um v uh, video variety, which is why we're going to have start having a lot of more metro and regional trains videos come out until we can actually push out something different. Uh, there's a few heritage videos in the backlog which may be able to come out as well. Um, this channel, however, um the channel that you're currently sitting on, uh, I do have a few plans for this channel. Coming into the new year, um, issues with them is actually the plans were to start those new videos this year, but with this um, thing occurring, uh, it hasn't been an option to start out these new videos. Um, the new videos will be more like to what the channel was actually originally planned for, so if anyone remembers back to the days of what the uh, original purpose of this channel is, um, yeah, those may be returning, assuming that I can get the um, idea behind it straight. So. That's a little bit of a uh, look out for the future sort of video. Um, you'll have we'll have a preview video come out later on in the year if I can get time to get that recorded. And yeah, I think that's really all that's been occurring with all the channels and all the news that's been occur uh, around it. Uh, in any cases, um, uh, you're following along with a lot of model railway stuff. Uh, new model trains are still due. Uh, good to see that the none of those um, new model trains have been hampered. Uh, for example, um, the new uh, the Victorian Railway J class models from Ixon Models um, Ixon. Um, not sure how to pronounce it. Honestly, I'll have to find that out before I do the uh, uh, actually get acquire one. Uh, uh, they um, their their J classes are still scheduled for later this year, and um, SDS are bringing out their T's later this year with the second generation, so the multiple colored ones next year. So, uh, still delays and precision models in some of their models, but they will be uh, those will hopefully come over the next year. Um, and it comes to a discussion that I'm wondering about what to do, how I'm planning to intend to continue the model railway stuff on this channel as well, because there's a few issues in the way that. The scheduling is getting in the way of a lot of this. If we were, if this was a normal year, I definitely would have not been able to upload the amount of um reviews that are already going up. Seeing that we intend to have um uh, about five um reviews put up this year, five to six reviews done this year, uh, from uh, down from the uh, up from the normal uh, four, um, but yeah. So anyhow, I hope you guys have enjoyed my little talk for this video. Um, uh. If you guys have any op uh, opinion uh, opinions about um what you think about the new rail project, be sure to put that in the description below, and let's create a, uh, t a discussion space. Um, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs>